Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, you're the man on the sticks, uh -huh. and the Buccaneers, why, we're playing Madden 20, oh, the Desperados versus yep, the Buccaneers. we're playing offense only, sim in that D. Sim it up. Using that bounce playbook, we're still playing on all Madden Arcade. Which, since I did the last update, has made my quarterbacks run for their effing life constantly. It's been <laughs> wonderful. Jonas loves it. Dude, I, I love snapping the ball and then just being afraid. <laughs> it's my favorite. If anybody snaps my balls, I'm going to definitely be afraid. Yeah, dude, I've been afraid of that for my life, hey, my whole life. Please don't snap my balls. <laughs> please, please. Oh, wow, we're already down by seven. Good way to... <laughs> Good way to start her out. Right, what what were you expecting, down, sir? Dude, the defense has been very much trash. We've been we've been playing from behind. All right, let's see here. We got Kyler. We got Beck. Oh, there we go. What it's got? Nope, nope, nope. Get out of his face, friends. All right. Rumbling, stumbling, eight, eight deep. We got it. Rumbling, stumbling, eight deep. I like that, Jones. Yeah, dude, we did it. We made it. We got. We got out. All right. So all we need to do is score every time we get ball. Boom. Forever. Right here, we got the ball. Let's score. Oh, perfect. The other, these are the other players running around from the TNT Dynamite days. All right. Let's take a look. Let's get something going. Let's try to let's try to go down the field and not lose. Okay. Bring them back with another one of those block rocking beats. Yeah, I think that's Jamiroquai. Uh, it's either Jamiroquai or Flat Boy, Fat Boy Slim. Uh, oh, right about now? From Soul Loving? Brother? Whatever. <laughs> Check it out now. Funk Soul Brother. Oh, God. Run, 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 was uh, the second and yeah. Clock. I tried to listen to some other Jamiroquai stuff. Yeah. Yeah. No, dude. It was like that band that had the song, you gotta, you gotta give what you give. Don't let up, you got the music oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're not good otherwise? No, they I wonder why they only made one song, dude. <laughs> Oh God! Run! Run! Oh, Joe, this isn't looking too bad for us right now. I don't it's like to hard speak early. Dude, it's very hard. Uh, That's now 35 yards I'm sorry, Jonas. You, 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 would a fresh tampon help you? Uh, a big salty <laughs> one. <laughs> you want a salty tampon? Nobody ever asked for those. Yeah, dude, it's, it's a new kind of herb that helps us. <laughs> Something. <laughs> I like uh, pink Himalayan salt or yeah. just like ionized table salt. Just straight up ionized oh. table salt. Dude. They dip it in. So we're in the final. I can imagine that feeling good. Like sand granules. Yeah, dude. That's it. No, I mean, maybe the, I think the chunky would be worse. <laughs> the chunkies. Now yeah, dude, the pink of the land is like dirty. What Christmas is big Can I get like the fresh, uh, yeah, what is it? The uh, freshly, what do they do with it? Fresh scent? Freshly ground. Ooh, powder. Yeah. You still want the powder on it? I want unionized. I don't even know if that's what's the difference. Unionized salt? I don't know. I think ionization is just like, I don't know if it changes the flavor of it or not. Yeah, I'm down I don't know why we're going off into this tangent about the type of salt that we want to put on our tampons, but you know, it's like. Like what grade of salt goes best with a with a tampax? <laughs> Never know. Oh, there he is, Beck. Oh, he's unstoppable. Unstoppable. Oh, we just shoved that dude away like he had a drunk friend on his arm. Is that what happens? Yeah, dude, you're drunk. Comes See, up that, and yeah, down. I told you, you're the one that comes out with the non sequiturs. Dude, <laughs> it's not ever gonna be me. <laughs> never come, I come out with 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 esoteric non sequiturs. Yours are just yours are just like these fictitious instances you build with your thought processes. Hey man, it, it's real in my head. That's all that matters. I mean, that's true. Catch him in stride. Now he's dead. Princess is a fella. 
Watch out. He's going to leave it. He's down to the 10. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. <laughs> All right. Yeah, dude. That's how we do it. Really uh, uh, it's kind of hard, me and Snoop Dio, though. Yeah, dude, it is. Too bad he's not on our team. Somehow, some way. Coming up with funky things like that guy got trapped. He's listening to too much trap music. Bad statement of the of video. <laughs> oh, you must you must be listening to too much trap music, honey. <laughs> You're always good for what, dude? Dude, I tried to. <laughs> You're always good for one bad statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is the kind of person that like put a put a rope around your leg. <laughs> like, oh my god, honey, I was just listening to so much trap music that I got my leg got caught in the snare. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something that would happen. <laughs> <laughs> I caught the snare from listening to trap music. Oh, I just got that. You're come in so with so much trap music. I got caught in the trap. Yeah, dude, come in with like a bear trap or something. <laughs> like like, oh. crawling. Like, this is what happens if you listen to too much trap music, honey. A mouse up in your hand or something. That's something you would do. That'd be a good joke. Dude. Go have, go have so children. <laughs> No, dude, you're already a dad. Go do it. Oh, go ahead, gosh, there we go. We'll get a little, we'll get a little 17, 13 half time lead. Oh, they get one second. I like it. Boom. Back to us. <laughs> Did you hear the new Cardi B? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dad, we heard the new Cardi B. It's <laughs> <laughs> Two yards on the pickup there. That's fine, Joe. Who's your favorite trapper? That's what they call trapping. Joe. 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 This meal. Pushing T is my favorite trapper. <laughs> See, when you ask the question, it, it honestly makes it more cringe. <laughs> That's what the. <laughs> <laughs> is, is that what they call? <laughs> trap rappers? They call them trapper keepers. Trapper keepers. The bad part is that if you were born in the 90s, you don't even know what that is. Yeah, I know, right? Like, what the frick is a trapper keeper? Oh, man, like, what are these old men talking about? Yeah, I know. Oh, God, run! Nope! I tried, man. Yo, you down. guys are old. Ha ha, Clinton Dick got me. Ha ha, Davis Clinton. Alright, let's try. Right yeah. Oh, God. I don't know who else we're winning right now. I'm, I'm convinced. Oh, we, okay, we're not going to lose the last two. Somebody's hurt. Good. Wow, Jonas. <laughs> Look at him. He's <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Then you're like, observe his injuries. Right. Make sure he knows not to mess with us. Comes after me. Show him something or another. Something or another. Oh, my God. They just upended me. I literally did a flip. Yeah, you're fine, though. It's, it's yeah. just, it's all video game pain. Yeah, dude, it's not right. It's video game pain, dude. You can laugh at it. And you're not so this uh, No, you're still so this Oh, my Lord. I think that laughing even that implied this physical harm is sadistic. Really? Yeah, it's taking joy in... Yeah, it's a sadistic thing to do, but it doesn't make you a sadist. Yeah, because you're not the one who likes to provide the pain. You're just laughing. I guess to a point, we're all got a little bit. I think sadism or a sadistic nature is pretty just human, you know? Yeah, I mean, I don't like watching people get hurt. Yeah, nobody wants to see that itch in real life, but I love shooting people in a video game. <laughs> yeah, right? I think it's like the way to like get around loving it. If you're like, oh, I love it. And if you said like that in the wrong place, you might get in trouble. And then yeah. You're just like, oh, you're just like, I just love doing it. In, the game. in a lot of ways, it's how it's how you get it out of your system. Them, I think, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's like a release. Yeah, because we're not out here like hunting and gathering animals and like cutting them open with our bare hands anymore. We need to get some viscera on our mitts. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's 
That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, she opened up saying, the defense man. a little bit. Oh, God. He up. almost got me. Oh, God. He almost got me. Get out of my face. Yeah, I can see it being cathartic to do shit. Yeah, like, man. They're like, man, I really just want to kill and gut an animal, but instead I'll just play Call of Duty. Yeah, that's why video games are so popular, because it, it feeds just on our most, uh, like, instinctual human needs. Basic animalistic instincts. Yeah, like, uh, I want to shoot somebody in the face so bad I can't do it in real life because I'll go to jail. Let me turn on Call of Duty and... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The most popular video game series ever to exist, Grand Theft Auto, which is all about immorality. But yeah, like everything about it is like the worst thing you can do in life. Yep. So face it, humans, you're, you're terrible people. Oh, I tried to strip it. Didn't work. I'm just glad we don't have gladiator fights anymore, Jonas. I don't want to see that. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't have a stomach to watch people get their entrails taken out, dude, but I can watch football. What's this thing? <laughs> Is it? I would think, like, MMA would be the closest Oh, yeah, MMA, yeah. Oh, I think there was a fight on the other night. One, it was the guy who McGregor and that guy got in a fight and he went to the stand. He was fighting again. That Russian dude, I can't think of his name. He was fighting McGregor? Or he was no, fighting? no, he fought McGregor before. They're just like, look, look. Okay. Oh, well, Um. Yeah, excuse me. Could the camera. Yes, let's pan away from that. <laughs> but we have two men who are not in a very mountable position. Why was he had his face like, oh, no, they're going to show it again. Why was his face there for so long? Uh, no, him and McGregor fought. I think it was, last, oh, I think it was McGregor's last MMA fight. Yeah. And, the, and the dude jumped out into the stands after McGregor's people. Oh, oh yeah, I remember that it was, guy. It's the guy he was fighting was fighting again. That was the Russian. And he was fighting the interim champ or something. Because I got suspended and they had to, he had to give up his title or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the Russian guy that, like, literally wrestles bears. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, the one that, like, Putin was like, come on home, friend. <laughs> they, like, they, showed, they showed him and his dad meeting with Putin. That's awesome. Yeah. Ah, uh, Kruman Doom. He's just swimming through the muck, friends. I mean, not that I'm, like, a Putin sympathizer or anything. <laughs> You're like, oh, Putin did something awesome. <laughs> I just think that, I don't know, that, that show of Russian... Yeah, dude, it's like when you go to the White House and you get Big Mac. Yeah, it's cool. Just to say you win the national title, they're like, here's a Big Mac for all your trouble and your hard work this year. Yeah, dude, you, you are a good fighter. You make very good sandwich. He's like, you don't, uh, he's like, I know you guys don't like steak. So, get out of here, Beck. He's like, I know you guys don't like steak, but I know you guys like Big Mac. Now the first of their timeouts. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, this isn't a it doesn't matter who did it. It just, this is, <laughs> it just seems weird. There's only been one person in the White House to ever hand out big Yeah, you know, I mean, if I went We're anywhere not to celebrate anything and the, and the prize was a Big Mac, I'd feel weird about it. Man. What do you mean, Joe? Oh, we were going to turn back political. Back what do you mean, Joe? You don't like Big Macs? This has nothing to do with political, dude. Let's do it. <laughs> Real wing buffet out there, man. That'd be better than Big Macs. What's wrong with the Big Macs, Jonas? I've never liked them my whole life. You, have you ever had one? I have. I don't like. I don't like them. What about bun? There's too much lettuce. Too much. All right, top top three tiers McDonald's food go. Uh, fries, chicken Ooh. nuggets. Ooh, Ooh really? Okay. Uh, and then, I don't know, filling double cheeseburger, I guess. Plain, no, 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 no meat and cheese only. Okay, all right, all right, fair enough. Three. Oh, filet of fish is okay, I guess. I would say uh, nuggets, number one, because they, they do have, like, top tier nuggets. Yeah, they're nuggets. I mean, they're, I mean, they're pure garbage. But, oh, but yes. Yeah, they're pretty good. But if you deep fry garbage, it's just, oh, it's still it's just delicious. Yeah. It's funny how that works. It's tasty garbage, you know? Yeah. But, uh. Boom. Then, oh, I, then I could say yes with the fries probably being third, but I'm going to have to say play Filet of fish is probably. So we basically have kind of the same three. It's like, like I mean, like if I, I don't really like their meat, I would probably prefer filet of fish over a double cheeseburger. But yeah, fries, nuggets, fish. All right, Burger King greater than, less than, equal to McDonald's. <laughs> the only thing I eat from Burger King is like a bacon double cheeseburger, and I, 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 I can't even tell you the last time I ate it. I, it's been. I, I don't eat McDonald's very often either, but they just tend to be when you're traveling. There's always McDonald's, so you end up eating at one because there's nothing else. 
stretch that lead. That's true. Um, all right, so Burger King is off the list. Do you do you eat Burger King? I mean, I get the Impossible Whoppers now. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So now and they're pretty the good. I don't know. I would say that I could eat Burger King. McDonald's burgers kind of just like. I just prefer Burger King over them, I guess. But I do end up usually feeling sick if I have like a McDonald's burger. Yeah, dude, I couldn't eat like a, a double quarter pound of it. Oh, no, I'll have a big burger up, man. Well, yeah, but from a good place. No, okay. yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to a McDonald's and get a half pound burger. I'm gonna go to like a restaurant and get one. Look at this. Mm -hmm. That is all the time we have for today's episode of Food Topic Hunter. We were talking about way more. Than yeah, we were talking about all sorts of stuff. All right, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Like, what's up? Check out our playlist page. That's where the money lies. I don't know. If you want the money, get it there. All right, for Jonas. And TNT 9 are. Oh.